opportunity for both of these teams to kind of get a feel of. And the tip is off to Kane Dukes. Shift pass to the outside. Three ball fired up. No to Townsend. Back to the basket and five to shoot. Mid-range layup off the glass. Coming here of some sorts at Mackey Arena getting her first points of the game. Purdue miss, able to get the rebound. Abby Ellis, three ball. Duquesne unable to convert on the jump shot there. Jones pushing the tempo the other way. Mary Ashley, Barry and company pushing four on five. Feed to the inside. Stevenson, the reigning freshman of the year, uses the glass. Pick it up, long skip pass. Feed to the inside. Townsend finds the ball. Ellis shot fake, Euro step inside. Mm. Initial quarter of action here. Pass to the inside, Townsend turns. Floater, no. The bench senior presses Precious Johnson. Johnson number 31 there. Precious Johnson playing some defense and a nice takeaway by Duquesne. Now pushing the tempo, it's Kiaku. Purdue offense running at breakneck speed as Mila Reynolds leaves that score. Ellis falls down, able to keep her dribble and keep the Purdue possession alive. Reynolds from deep, no good. Window, no good. And this tight-knit defense. Eight. So Janae Terry with the ball. Boilermakers trailing by two. Stevenson's mid-range jumper, no good. Burt did not seek the precious on the bench. The Lord of the Rings reference. Three ball up, no good. Mary Ashley Stevenson at the elbow, takes a dribble, passes it off. Sophie Swanson down the middle, left hand, layup. Is trying to turn defense into offense, kick to the outside, three ball, no good. 1,000 points, 1,000 rebounds, and 700 career assists. Pass into Ellis, one second left in the buzzer. Purdue trying to regain the lead in this one. Mid-range jumper from Ellis. Them losing in the A-10 championship game, or I mean, this is an NCAA tournament team. Held off an upset in the first round, and the Purdue Boilermakers set to play tomorrow, as that's a three ball up, no good. Defense is tough. Yeah, Townsend with some defense of her own on that other end, and then it sets up some. Dukes, some might even say. Take to the inside, no good. Mary Ashley Stevenson with her own rebound. Did not travel. It's Duquesne. And it's in Pittsburgh. Here's their fifth on the offensive end. Mary Ashley Stevens. Baseline drive from Jayla Smith. Nice pass to Elena Harper. McConnell facing harsh defense. Three ball fired up. No good for the Indiana native. Kane is having buckets be hard to come by. Drive to the inside. Reverse layup. layup. Moving around the outside, unselfish ball over to Kiaku, no good. Looks like it's going to be Boilermakers' first look at Emily Monson in this game. Driving side, Kiaku kicks it out, moving around. And McConnell's for them, Craig. Yeah, and that's not the Boilermakers' game. They're a lot better of a team in the half court offense. Stevenson at the line converts the first. And yet another rebound, her sixth of the game. Sophie Swanson, three ball fall. Only one of their last eight. Trying to come around. Kiaku taken. And the redo does it. Yeah, she's able to vent. There's a good contingency of all fans here. I mean, this whole lower bowl's full. Shot off. Side note, you could almost fit the population of Duquesne students in Mackey twice. Is that's a long second? Megan McConnell, ball in her hands, feed to the inside, turn hook, and the fake count. Defensive end, 29 to 22 to score. Baseline drive, Jones off the win. Take to the inside in nice defense play. Zession, nay Bernard, with the hustle. Bernard off. Ellis, I mean Ellis was all up in her face and not allowing for any breathing room and Bernard was able to just flick it up there. Namaya Hamilton unable to convert, now it's Purdue trying to cook up a response. Mid-range from Terry, no good. Postseason play than they are in regular season play too, that's also been a question. Three ball from the corner. Scoring and make that 10. She's 
hits the basket. She hasn't been stopped here thus far as she's able to cash in on that first one. Edge on her there. Well, and honestly, Charlie, I feel like the Purdue Boilermakers getting into this have kind of slowed them down here. That they have is Smith mid-range floater goes down. As you see there, the play from Jayla Smith getting a, a well-needed break there as game as she's defending McConnell there. McConnell take inside off the wing. Play us close in here. They've got such a good atmosphere. And it's something she's definitely being mindful of is right away. Yeah, Jayla Smith again on the defensive end and able to finish it off there. Rebounding machine. Yeah, Abby Ellis with her sixth rebound of the evening. That it does. Kiaku's first free throw is good. Team appearance and a couple of made free throws will help for Journey Kiaku. It's there from Hamilton and Duquesne. Yeah, the Dukes are in much need of possessions. Yeah, and she said in the post-game interview after. Branson Medley sinks that one. The offensive end. Sophie Swanson crosses over mid-range, no good. Putting her hands on Mary Ashley Stevenson, but that draws the turnover and a beautiful layup. Makes that free throw. Teams and both teams want to win and earn a spot in the changes there, getting getting his team on the floor that he would like. This, that's the beauty of this uh, women's NIT tournament is, is as the head coach with Dan Breaker, as you saw there, Janae Terry just dribbling through the woods and able to make the pass to Ellis. Ball from Ellis. And every possession's gonna matter a lot more to Duquesne because a loss means the end. Smith has been a spark off the bench. Three rebounds, two assists. The shortest players on the floor for the Boilermakers getting a block, and they, as you see, they're hitting both for this Purdue team off the bench. Duquesne trying to get something going. Baseline drive, and At Journey Kiaku continue getting her the ball and letting her just go to the basket. Smith, three ball goes in second effort, no good. Janae Terry pulls down the rebound. Now in transition, it's Jayla Smith with the lead. Game possession here. Yeah, Janae Terry is so good. The way that she can handle the ball, the way she delivers. Fall in, mid-range jumper, no good. Continue to stifle the Dukes on defense. Mid-range jumper from Ella. Patience as Stevenson takes the mid-range jumper, bounded for the Dukes. Duquesne, movement around the outside. Three ball, deep from McConnell, no good, but an excellent set with the winner of Vermont and Colgate as they play in Burlington tomorrow. Fights are something that every man under 30 has seen. Oh man, I used to look forward to the summer. Who doesn't like a little hot sauce? Now I'm good. Big Maple. Movement around the outside. Duquesne may have gotten away with the travel there, but they get moving here. Mid-range from Smith, no good. Do. You don't want to tread water too much. Got to try to stay in it as Smith misses the first. Second effort. Reynolds. Jones swing to Stevenson. Mid-range jumper with the hand in the face. From it, Jayla Smith taking it up the court. Crossover behind the back. Dished off to Swanson. Three ball, no good. Reynolds with the cross screen. Ball goes to Reynolds. Three ball fired up. And yeah. He has some motion front property for you too as Monson. Look to cash in there. Playing for their season. Johnson inside, fading a lot, goes under 10, and the Dukes take it away. Feed up the court, and layup won't go down, and the Dukes nearing the end. Try to get the reverse. Yeah, Katie Gerald did a really nice job taking this team into the locker room and making some changes as Monson. Too far from here. Country Roads took her to Duquesne University. Ed, but Purdue pulls down the rebound. Over to Swanson. Three ball and it goes. Super 16 of the WNIT tournament. As for Purdue, they're feeling great.
as they pick up the 71 to 50 victory in a dominating home here in this matchup and, and, and continuing their season. I mean, that's the goal, Charlie, here in playoff basketball.